And to him 
watch some ASMR videos that have that title and it seems like a lot of them use quark for those sounds. No one takes my life. i 
Peace. 
40 verse 31 says, But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. John 6 verses 68 and 69. Then Simon Peter answered him, shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life, and we believe and are sure that thou art that Christ, the Son of the living God. Isaiah 6, 8. Then I heard a voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? in a manner worthy of the gospel. 
Revelation 1 verse 8, Psalm 63 verse 7 through 8, Because you are my help, I sing in the shadow of your wings, I cling to you, your right hand upholds me. 1 John 3 verse 18, My little children, let us not love in word or in tongue, but in deed and in truth. Chapter 10, verses 29 through 20, 31 Are not two sparrows sold for a penny? Yet not one of them will fall to the ground outside your father's care. And even the very hairs of your head are all numbered. So don't be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. Philippians 1 Verse 21 through 24. For to me, living means living for Christ, and dying is even better. But if I live, I can do more fruitful work for Christ. So I really don't know which is better. I'm torn between two desires. I long to go and be with Christ, which would be far better for me. But for your sakes, it is better that I continue to live. Isaiah 54, verse 17 No weapon forged against you shall prosper, and you shall refute every tongue that rises against you in judgment. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their vindication from me declares the Lord. Psalm 35, verse 14, Turn away from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. Psalm 8, verse 3 through 4, When I consider your heavens, the work, of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have ordained. What is man that you are mindful of him, and the son of man that you visit him? It speaks to the magnitude of God and our own cosmic insignificance. Yet even still, God loves us so. That's a good one. 17 through 18. Though the fig tree does not bud, and there are no grapes on the vines, though the olive crop fails, fails, and the fields produce no food, though there are no sheep in the pen, and no cattle in the stalls, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will be joyful in God my Savior. John chapter 1 verse 5 The light shines in the darkness and the darkness has not overcome it. Psalm 23 verse 4 Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thine rod and thine staff, they comfort me.
7. For the Spirit God gave us does not make us timid, but gives us power, love, and self-discipline. Hebrews 10, verse 36. For ye have need of patience, that after ye have done the will of God, ye might receive the promise. Galatians 6, verse 8-9. Whoever sows to please their flesh, from the flesh will reap destruction. Whoever sows to please the Spirit will reap eternal life. Let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Deuteronomy 31 Verse 6, Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Isaiah 43, verses 1 through 2. But now, this is what the Lord says. He who created you, Jacob, he who formed you, Israel, do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have summoned you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. Isaiah 41 verse 10 Do not fear, for I am with you. Psalm 118 verse 24 this is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Okay, I'm on my last page of comments, so we're nearing the end here, folks. Psalm 42, verses 1 through 2. As a deer pants for flowing streams, so pants my soul for you, O God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When shall I come and appear before God? Romans 8, 37-39 No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am sure that neither death nor life nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Revelation 21 verses 1 through 5. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. And I saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice coming from the throne, saying, Behold! dwelling place of God is with man. He will dwell with them, and they will be his people, and God himself will be with them as their God. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes, and death shall be no more. Neither shall there be mourning, nor crying, nor pain any more, for the former things have passed away. And he who was seated on the throne said, Behold, I am making all things new. 
He also said, Write this down, for these words are trustworthy and true. 1 Corinthians 6 verse 9 Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind. 2 Timothy verse 1 through 9 God saved us and called us to live a holy life. He did this not because we deserved it, but because that was his plan from before the beginning of time to show us his grace through Christ Jesus. Romans 12 verse 2 Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. 2 Corinthians 12 verses 9 through 10 But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you. My power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore I will boast all the more gladly of my weaknesses, so that the power of Christ may rest upon me. For the sake of Christ, then, I am content with weakness, insults, hardships, persecutions, and calamities. For when I am weak, then I am strong. Philippians 1 verse 6 And I am sure of this, that he who began a good work in you will bring it to completion at the day of Jesus Christ. Ephesians 2 verse 10 For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand we should walk in them. Romans 5 verse 9 Since therefore we have now been justified by his blood, much more shall we be saved by him from the wrath of God. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 17 Pray without ceasing Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. And last but not least, Proverbs 3 verses 24 through 26. You can go to bed without fear. You will lie down. be afraid of sudden disaster or the destruction that comes upon the wicked for the Lord is your security he will keep your foot from being caught in a trap and that's it that was a long video a lot longer than I was expecting but thank you so much for sending those verses in. They were all so wonderful. And if I didn't read yours and you left a comment, I'm so sorry. But there's plenty good ones in here for you to enjoy listening to. I pray that you have a wonderful night's rest. And if you made it this far in the video, amazing. <laughs> I can't even remember.